just had a little, <laughs> we just had a little uh, pre-shoot Jerk discussion. So he asked for some lotion. He's like, people see everything on the internet. He asked me for some lotion. I handed him some jerks. He said, Matt, you got this bullshit. <laughs> I mean, that, I mean, it fits my complexion. That he needs something a little stronger for, for people. I gave his it to tone. him. What, what you use? But I did, I did use that Jergens, which yeah. is like water. And then he handed me some Crisco. When this airs at some point in time, because I know it's going to air, I still held my job. <laughs> so did, you, did you see him? I don't know if y'all know this lately. Go. Y'all know if y'all didn't know this lately, but it ain't none of my business. I don't even, but y'all brought it up, so we're going to talk about it. Yeah. Y'all saw what happened. I saw it. Now, he brought the 40 piece. Yeah. Now, he's starting now. He still can get downhill. Yeah. Easily. Easy. Still can post. Easily. And now he done added a 40 footer to his resume. That's incredible. <gasps> it's 17 years. I think to me, it's hard to say that Giannis in leaps and bounds ahead of LeBron from Thank the end. I think. Kendrick Perkins might have said something like this because we always devalued LeBron's greatness in the East because it was the East. Right. And the East is some they say East is weaker than the West. But if you take LeBron take a look at the team last year when he was hurt and what they did, obviously getting A D is a huge help. But they went from dog shit to first place in the in the yeah. West. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you gotta, this you gotta how, have this, the same thing. You know, this is how you know LeBron to go. The guy that he traded to New Orleans the and the guy he, he traded, traded for. <laughs> <laughs> Not what everybody say, so I'm a, I'm a, I'm a co-signer. It. It. The guy that LeBron traded that went to went to New Orleans. LeBron traded. Bi, Lonzo, Josh Hart, mm -hmm. and now they got Zion. LeBron went back there minus AD and beat him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's how you know you're good. <laughs> Look at Cleveland. How Cleveland? How Cleveland looking without Bron? Dog now Bron had maybe less and took that to the finals. Man, the Lakers good this year. Got a lot to do with AD. Don't do that. Yeah, I, I'm Don't not saying that. AD special. But don't don't you try to diminish go no, Jay. You can't, that's you the can't, no, you you can't. Go. They, they, you can't do that. He now. makes he the that. engine go. He I definitely mean, makes the engine go. That's it. I mean, he's not supposed to be playing like this in year 17. No. He's not. No. You're not supposed to be leading it. Think about MVP. it. MVP. Leading the league in assists in year 17. 10.3. John Stockton led the league in assists his last year with year 12. Mm -hmm. John Stockton played 19 years. He wasn't 6'8", 290. They got to do with that. He <laughs> said 290. Yeah. <laughs> Jumping before his vertical. And, 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 and winning. And winning. And giving folk the bit. He, he ain't supposed to be dropping no 34-point triple doubles, getting 40 pieces, and he's still elevating. You yeah. see where he took off from the other night? Somebody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 You see where he took He took outside the lane. But he's yeah. doing all this shit and now yeah. with it, too. And, and you're 17. Now, too. Yeah. Game's I love it. It's easier now when you play I love it. Like I said AD. at the very beginning of the season, if he's in a position to where – AD is sort of like Jack said, AD is kind of the focal point that this part of the season in the playoffs, he's going to be at his best. Yes. You know, I think he did a good job of riding the team and kind of understanding, showing flashes here and there during the season of obviously what he can do. But to me, he just managed the game so much better this year. Yeah. He made sure everyone else got involved. He made sure AD knows, motherfucker, we're going to come to you yes. in April and May. So get ready now in December. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he meant to me, his management of the whole season has been brilliant. Talk to me where you think real quick before we get back off track. Mike, Kobe, LeBron, where are they at for you? I'm about to go, you know, old Goat James. He's won. Because for me, is that you look at the totality. You see, everybody, it's like it's, it's almost, I even hate talking about, you know, Kobe and LeBron because anytime you talk about Kobe and LeBron, Jordan 6 and 0 in the finals. Kobe got more championships than LeBron. They, oh, they, they always they, got they, something. They always got something to say. Yeah. But somebody, I mean, eight straight finals. Eight straight. That's tough. And the best play, I mean, he look, I mean, that last year in in uh in uh in Cleveland, come on, man. They had no business. They had no business being in the finals. Except amazing. for that man of greatness. That was amazing. And, and and look, when you look at when you look at teams that he's lost to, those Warriors teams. Of all the championship teams, that might be one of the top five best Dynasty. teams ever. He had no question. No and LeBron, oh, LeBron lost to the Warriors. Really? Everybody else did too. So, so we expected LeBron to beat LeBron and Jr. and that and, and, and uh, Rodney Hood and Jordan Clarkson and George Hill. We expected him to beat I KD, did. Steph, Clay, Draymond. I did. And Javale, really? And Steve Kerr. Yeah, you got, you really? got a real coach too. <laughs> yeah, you had a coach. I did. And, you know? it, and when he lost, he lost to uh, San Antonio. So we, what we gonna do with Tim? So Tim Duncan. There's no question Tim Duncan is the greatest power forward to ever breathe. Mm -hmm. And so he had Tony Parker. He had Manu. Kawhi was just coming onto the scene. Yep. And he had Pop. Yep. So he loses that. And like, oh. So what team that Jordan ever played that was that? Good question. I think, honestly. Detroit teams were good. 
They, were the Warriors good? Yeah, no, nah, no. No. Mm-mm. I'll tell you a team that was good. The Pistons was good. Big three Celtics. The Pistons was good. When they prime. The Pistons you remember them? Good. Were they were they Warriors good? Their they, levels are good. They were champions. Were they Warriors good? Okay, which one KD? I want to know on the on Hold the on. Pistons. How many Hall of Famers on that team? Who? That Pistons team. The same amount as the as the as the, as the Warriors. Look. I'm I'm just asking a question. You think I, so? Chance? Who who, who you who's your who's I'm your talking about Isaiah. Are oh, you talking about? Are oh, you? Wait, wait, so he was talking about Jordan. He was talking about Jordan. Are oh, you talking? Okay, I thought you were talking about LeBron and. Yeah, no, no, no. But I heard. But here's he said the, Jordan didn't play nobody like oh. like them. No, but no, 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 no. Detroit, come on now. They had four Hall of Famers. So, so which which one of those Hall of Fame? Look, there. Look, as a guy in the Hall of Fame, there's <laughs> levels to Hall of Fame. No question. Don't talk okay. that shit to him, huh? Uh, there's there's like. Mo like, Cheeks in the Hall of Fame. Oh, no, no. I got better numbers than him okay. as far as points. Okay. Stack, but here's the thing. I'm just keeping it real. Stack. There's like Jim Brown. Joe Montana Hall of Fame, you know, there's they, there's rooms to it. You know, you go to the Taj Mahal, there are rooms in the Taj Mahal. Right. Everything everything is not housed in, in one room. Mm-hmm. So there's levels to this. There's KD. Uh, KD, you, you talk about a top ten player. When it's right. all said and done, he might be creeping down to the mm-hmm. five ish. Yeah. Steph lead Curry. Score. Steph Curry. No, no, you know who's gonna be the lead scoring here? Man, KD. Who go? Man, KD. You think you're gonna get it? I don't, I don't, I don't think. K- the, the, you see the, how many consecutive seasons he's had, like who? KD, with the points he's been putting up. Yeah, but well, how many points KD have? Twenty thousand. Mm-hmm. He got twenty thousand, right? We'll I, he got that twenty thousand by now. We'll look it up. But think about what go that. Yeah, go <laughs> about to be yeah. at forty. Yeah, so does he need another four years at twenty five points or something he like that around three. that? Three. He years? don't need but three. Mm-hmm. Three forty thousand. So the man gonna be top ten. He's gonna be number one in points. Mm-hmm. Top five in assists. Top ten in rebounds. Come on. I think that's that. That's where I think people misunderstood. Is we're talking about a pass first player. Yes, a pass first dude that's in the top ten in assists, but I, still I, I moving up, up, moving up. Let that sink in for start. a second. Pass mm-hmm. first. I want to pass you the ball first, yes. but then I still got more points mm-hmm. and still average, and still averaging twenty. Because I watched him the other night against uh, uh, the Pelican, and he goes off in the first half. He has nineteen. But now he comes out in the third quarter. He makes a conscious effort. Yeah. He's so like, you, you know what? Game I need, I need no. you guys. I need, I'm gonna need these guys in the third. Manages the game. And then in the fourth mm-hmm. quarter, he says, "Okay, now you got me here. Let me bring us home. Manage, yeah. mm-hmm. Let me bring us home." Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm man. Not mad at that. I need to go see Goat play. When the last time you seen him play? NBA Finals. <laughs> what year? Yeah, uh, we went out to Cleveland. Oh yeah, we you, work, you were there. We were yeah, work, yeah. working together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. I need, I need to get there. But I'm, I'm, I'm a poor sport. Yeah. Cause see, you know, I, I, you know, I don't want to be around. Cause I go and they lose, and then somebody know me, and they gonna start you talking. You had the jersey on. When? Oh, that time, I got like five of them. That jersey on. I got five. I got the whole uniform. I might dress in the whole uniform. I might <laughs> go to the, with the mask too, with the gold mask. <laughs> I'm gonna be at the parade. We go. I'm gonna be at the. I'm gonna be at the parade in June. You gotta get on the bus then. No, you know you already know they're gonna win the title. Right? Durant the 36 all time right now. 22,000 points. 22,000. Yeah. Almost twenty three thousand. So in what year? Twenty two thousand nine hundred forty. This, this is like what year thirteen? No, nah, not that many. I don't nah, think. Yeah, yeah. eleven. No, Russ is twelve, thirteen. Is he up in there? Yeah. If LeBron, he got to be year thirteen. Yeah. Could be LeBron's a seventeen. Thirty six all time. Look at the goat. Now He's you tough. know. Now you know what that is. That's so that's sport. That's like what eleven thousand, twelve thousand behind goat right now. Man, KD put up some points now. In a hurry. I mean, this but I like KD is because <laughs> I think him coming off this earth, injury, his his game has never been bla- based off athleticism. You know what I mean, you take LeBron's athleticism away, that's a lot, but you can't take it away. I mean, he's yeah. in year seventeen doing what he's doing. Yeah. But I, the reason why I think KD has a great run and a great chance is because it's never really been based off athleticism for him. It's Just jumpers. Buckets. He gonna still Jumper. be able to elevate and get it off? Oh what yeah, he's a, he shoots that. He's seven yeah, feet he, tall. Shoots it up here. What you he, mean? He's he's a, a, what that dude's so tall, man. That incredible. Dude, ain't nobody blocking that. No, nah, incredible. I mean, it's... <laughs> uh, 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 on your show. It's one of the biggest shows. Uh, talk to us about that. Skip is unbelievable. Legend. Shout out to Skip. Skip is unbelievable, man. Drip Bayless. Man, Drippy. Skip is... Drippy drip. Look, it's kind of hard to explain it because people see his brash. They see you know, they see his, his tough exterior. And he's just like, uh. But, man, he is... I remember the first time I met Skip, and I'm looking at him. I'm like, "Damn, he's small." And I'm looking at him, and he's talking. We're in production, and he's saying some of the things. And I'm like, "I heard him say those things on TV. Mm-hmm. He really believed that." 
He really believed that Braun ain't that good. <laughs> when Skip left ESPN to come here, he wanted me to work with him. Mm -hmm. But Fox and FS1, they wanted another journalist guy. Mm -hmm. Because they said, okay, yeah, Shannon can talk about football, but can he talk about other sports? Yeah. Because before me, all the guys that did this daily, if you look at all the other shows, they're all journalist background. Right. They've covered baseball, they've covered football, they've covered basketball, Olympics, and so forth and so on. So I was the first athlete to do a daily debate talk show that talked about other, other things other than the sport that they played. And it was like, well, Skip, we really think Skip says, no, nope, I want him. Mm -hmm. Well, Skip, let, let, let's see. Skip says, no. Skip says, I don't want to interview with anybody. I don't want to do anything. I want him. That's the guy. I've done my homework on him. I know what everybody said about him. Hard work. He'll put the work in. So Skip went to bat for me. It's big. Let's just say everybody wouldn't have done what Skip done. Everybody they for, say they with you ain't with you. Because a lot of people, when they say, well, you know, we really want you to like, okay. Yeah. Well, I tried, but, you know, they you know, they wanted to go in a different direction. So this is what we did. Skip as long says, as I'm no. good. Yeah. Yeah. Skip said, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And Skip says, nope, I want him. Mm -hmm. And so my job now is to make Skip right, mm -hmm. to put the time in, to put the effort in, to put the work in, to study, to know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So for me, man, I do, I'm here because of Skip. I never wanted to live in L.A. I like it now. Ooh. But I never wanted to live in L.A., never thought, I mean, like, I never thought in a million years I would spend anything more than a day in L.A. Mm. Come visit, you know, spend night and night, gone. I I live in LA. It's not my home. Like, man. And being on the show and being able to meet guys like yourself, uh athletes and other athletes and entertainers, man, it's great. This is the best job. Look. Mm. People don't yeah. understand how fun that shit it is. It man. is. How fun it is. Because I look at it like when we talk, we come on the show, I'm at the barbershop, my yeah. curse words. Yeah. That's where we are. That, and, and that's what I tell people. I was like, bro, I'm at the barbershop. Yeah. And the conversation that we have that we're discussing is that and that's what people that's what people that's why people watch these shows because they're having the same discussion that we're having exactly in the man, same really, tone man Giannis better than lebron man lebron big stop why are you lying man he ain't better than the game exactly so we're, <laughs> we're having those same discussions yeah but we just don't live television yeah to see you guys how you guys talk about your sport and how things are and then have a football player come in and talk about it or a baseball player or ap uh, actors and things. It's still about respect. Yep. It's still about working at your craft. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's about. Mm -hmm. And in this now, I just work at it. Now, I'm not obsessed like I was was. Because when I came out, when I first got here and I got the job, I would do the show and then I would go home and re-watch the show in its entirety. Mm -hmm. Studying film. And I, I was just doing that over and over and then over and over. I was re-watching it like Rewatched the show like four hours. Mm -hmm. And my agent said, Shannon, you're going to burn out. You can't do that. Mm -hmm. He said, you got to do That's something. I mean I, I mean, I wasn't going anywhere. I mean, the first year I was here, I put 2,000 miles on my car. I went to work. I went to work out, and I came. I didn't do anything. That was it. All the things was just focus, like focus, just focus, just focus, just focus. He's like, Shannon, you can't do that. He said, you'll burn yourself you gotta out. You got to live a little he bit. Said, yeah. He said, yeah. He said, you got to pace yourself. He said, if you want to do this, he said, at this pace, you'll last a couple of years. And so I started to pull back. I was like, okay. But it's a lot of work. To be good at anything, you got to work at it. I just sit here and imagine a battle off with you and Skip against Stephen A. and Max Kellerman. How do you think that would go? Man, they don't stand a chance. You think you got it? You know, you know, I'm, I'm pulling. You know, I'm pulling. So you play. matched it up probably with Stephen A. Then, right? This, you going to Stephen A. Here? Stephen A. Don't want this smoke. Stephen A. Don't want all this smoke. You don't want this smoke. No, you don't want. You don't want all this smoke. Two on two debate. That should be like an all star debate game or some shit like that. They just go off topics and fire it. This Stephen A. Stephen A. We can make this happen. That'll be dope. We can make this happen.